looks extra shiny. Today I'm gonna play with new hair care. I hope you guys are all doing well. So let's just jump into it. First product is by the brand Aquas. This is their number one prime. This is their water defense pre-wash. And I love how they said truth. Wet hair is weak hair, which is totally true. The reason why I picked this up was because of what it says. It's a pre-wash that you spray in your hair a couple of minutes, they say even for longer, and let it sit on your hair before you get into the shower. And then you wash it out towards the end of your shower, which is very fascinating. They're not saying you should shampoo or condition afterwards, but today I really want to use this and see what this is all about. This is a pretty big bottle. So you spray it in your hair, Mm, it smells actually really good. It smells very fresh and clean. So it says, you spray evenly on dry hair before you shower or wet your hair with a focus on dull or damaged area. So kind of focusing, I'm gonna be focusing kind of like right here especially because this is all like new hair growth. I don't have as much, you know, damage at the very top. So what this Aquas Prime number one does, it brings your hair to its natural pH balance before you wash your hair. It makes your hair stronger from the inside out and protects your hair from water and heat damage, preventing frizz and flyaways. And next, it properly balances the oil levels and cuticle health for optimal hydration. And then last but not least, it's a lightweight product that protects and enhances your hair's natural body without weighing it down. I mean, all of those sound incredible and I'm very excited. And this was under $30. I believe this was 26, which seems very expensive, but this is 12 fluid ounces. And I'm not sure, they don't really say you have to use it every single time before washing your hair. So maybe like every couple of weeks, depending how many times you wash your hair every week. I'm trying to not wash my hair every four or five days. I kind of, I'm trying, this is day five right here with lots of dry shampoo. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that I don't have to use it like every week. We'll see. If it's super great, you know, I might keep using it. But I like that it's a pretty big size bottle in comparison to like something like this. And then next, I will be using a clarifying shampoo in the shower because I have so much product built up from retraining my hair and scalp because it's so oily from postpartum. And this right here is the Moroccan Oil Clarifying Shampoo. And I like that it's color safe and they also recommend to use this before getting your hair done. <laughs> Emira is liking all of these products so far because it really kind of helps bring your hair back to its natural state without all the product buildup. And I'm very excited. This one had really, really great reviews. Let me just quickly see how much this cost me. This right here is $26. And the thing is, you don't use a clarifying shampoo every single shampoo wash. You use it like every two to three weeks, depending how much product you use. For example, if you use a dry shampoo like every other day, then yeah, I'll probably use this every two weeks. But if you use it like maybe once in a while here, if you use like leave-in conditioners, you know, different kind of products, you don't want it to just sit on your hair and scalp, maybe use it every three to four weeks. Very excited. And then I also picked up a new Aquas Prime towel. You guys know my obsession with these. They are expensive, but because it's for your hair, you can use them over and over again. You just wash them and you just use them. And I just like to have backups just because <laughs> to get a new print. This right here retails for $30. It does seem super expensive, but the thing is it's strictly for your hair. And I do find that it really dries my hair down at like 50%. I just like how lightweight it is. It feels good on the hair and I think it looks super cute. And I always know that I have something there for my hair. I like, I like dry my hair with something besides like a regular towel. This is called Proprietary Aquatex fabric. Gently wicks water away from hair to fight friction, frizz and breakage. Oh, so it's 80% polyester and 20% nylon. Maybe it's just in my head, but I really feel and see a difference with these towels. Let's go wash my hair. Now that this has been sitting in my hair for around five to 10 minutes. After using the clarifying shampoo, I'm going to use this right here, the Briogier Don't Despair, the Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. I've heard so many good things about this. I'm really excited to try it out because I really like their original one, their Don't Despair Deep Conditioning Mask. So I'm really excited to try the Honey version. I'm out of the shower and now I'm ready to prep my hair. I did my makeup while my hair was in my turban. It feels great. Now I'm gonna take it off. And it's nice and damp and it's not 
soaking wet, as you can see. Ooh, my hair looks good. <laughs> it looks extra shiny. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna prep my hair using this new IGK, their Good Behavior 4-in-1 Prep Spray. This is a detangler. It's a 24-hour frizz control and 450 heat protection, 450 degrees Fahrenheit heat protection, and it gives you shine. If you're new to my channel or if you're new to my stance on heat protectant, I don't believe in them. I don't believe in just a separate heat protectant on top of your detangler spray, your shine spray. I feel like you can just use it all in one. You can use something like this also, like a bonding oil, just something to coat your hair before you put some heat on the hair, like dry, hair drying, hair styling, like a hair straightener, curling your hair, things like that. I like things like this, like an all-in-one spray, like a detangler, frizz control, heat control, all of that. Not against heat tools though. Not against heat tools. <laughs> I'm not gonna use too much. And then, of course, my new tangle, not my new, my super old tangle teaser. Wow. Either it's the spray that's detangling the hair really easily and effortlessly, or it's all of those products that I used before this because my hair feels great and it looks great. I'm so happy my hair is starting to fall out less and less. My hair looks really good. Looks extra shiny for some reason. Maybe it was that pre-wash, the clarifying shampoo, maybe it was that hair mask. <laughs> Hair feels really nice right now and it feels lightweight. It doesn't feel way down. I'm gonna use my Dyson Airwrap to dry my hair out, smooth it out, and we'll be right back to talk about the products, what I think about them, what I like about them, what I don't like about them. Let's do it. My hair feels very soft, very lightweight. I wanna say it looks extra shiny, especially with this spray right here. I was kind of worried that it would just look like glitter because a lot of times if it's like a shine spray, if you spray it into your hand or your palm, you can kind of see little specks of glitter or some kind of sheen on it. So I'm really liking that my hair, it looks, it looks really good. I like that it's not super shiny where it looks slick, oily. But I like that it's a very lightweight since I did use a very deep conditioning mask. I really like that. All right, so let's quickly talk about what the first experience was. So with the pre-wash spray, I think it's very intriguing. I think it's really awesome. I wanna look more into it. I wanna see if it's really good for people that have hard water. That's really interesting because I grew up on hard water and you, could, you get a lot of buildup on your hair and it kind of, changes the pH of your hair. I think that's a really cool spray. I definitely wanna leave it a lot longer. I left it in for like roughly 15 minutes. I wanna try it on for at least like 45 to an hour. See, that's really gonna make a difference. Once you put water on your hair with that pre-wash, the hair felt really soft. It definitely felt a little bit coated, but it didn't feel extremely silicone-y on the hair. It felt really nice, and I think it might have helped with the clarifying shampoo, because every single time I use a clarifying shampoo, my hair, my scalp feel really squeaky clean, where it's kind of hard to put your fingers through your hair, which I understand because trying to strip off all that buildup and just clean your hair and your scalp. And I think I did a really good job, honestly. Like I was looking at my scalp, feeling my hair, and after I used the clarifying shampoo, I washed it out. It felt very kind of, it felt very light, but also it felt like I had so much hair. It felt like I used the volumizing shampoo, which is very intriguing. After the clarifying shampoo, I went with the Honey Deep Conditioning Mask. And first of all, that mask smells so good. And once you put it onto your hair, you can feel it right away working and just kind of coats your hair, coats your strands and I left it in there for at least two minutes, kind of did my thing and washed it out and then it just felt very clean and just felt like very, very silky and just very high, very moisturized. And then using the towel, I left the towel in for the entire time that I was putting my makeup on and then I took it off and we used the IGK. The one thing I do wanna say with this, I do like the smell, it's not too intense, it's not, you know, sometimes hair products, they have like a really intense smell where it just lingers. This is really nice, I think very, very nice, very, very kind of mild scent where it doesn't just, like right now, I can't really, I can't really smell it as much on my hair. I do like that it really detangles really well. I don't know about frizz control, we'll see, 
you know, as the day goes on. But I think so far the hair looks really good. I just did kind of like a rough dry and I think it honestly looks pretty decent. And then with the heat protection, you guys know my take on that and shine. I think definitely my hair looks shiny, but it looked extra shiny when I took the hair out of the towel. So I'm thinking everything kind of had a play on my hair today. All right, you guys, I will try to do one more update tomorrow and see how my hair kind of behaves today and then tomorrow and see if it feels like it's weighing, it's gonna get weighed down, if it gets oily really quick or it just looks really good and just lasts really well. It's the next day and I said I wanted to see how my hair looked and felt with all the new products and it definitely looks, I would say like day three hair and it's day two. Um, it's definitely feeling a little bit heavy, like right here especially. When I'm kind of flipping my hair around, you can kind of see it gets stuck in some areas. And that's when it, I know my hair is getting oily and I need dry shampoo. Like you see that, how it's separating like that? Usually when it's fresh and clean, it will just kind of be flowing, just, you know, it won't get stuck in like pieces, like chunks, and it looks kind of wet. So it's definitely looking a little heavy and it feels a little heavy, but it feels, I would say, great from here on down. I think the rest of the hair looks great. It is looking a little bit oily right here. That's where I took off the makeup, the skincare. I like to sleep on my side. So, you know, my hair is kind of doing that when I sleep, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm still retraining my hair to go for at least 45 days and not use as much dry shampoo. So I'm really happy with how my hair is looking and feeling. It still feels clean, it feels, like the, the scalp feels really nice. It's not itching. So that's a huge positive sign in my book. Overall, I think a lot of these products, most of the products that I talked about are definitely looking into, especially if you have certain hair care needs. For example, like this pre-wash spray, I think is really interesting and very, very fascinating. I'm definitely gonna keep playing with this. And I like that the bottle is nice and big. It has 12 fluid ounces and a little goes a long way I've noticed. And my hair felt really good in the shower and I'm definitely gonna keep using this. The next product that I'm really fascinated was the Moroccan Oil Clarifying Shampoo. I think it did a fabulous job with clearing my scalp, cleaning it out and my hair, it feels very lightweight. I kept telling Andre to touch my hair yesterday because I could run my fingers very easily and it felt, like the hair was separated really nicely and it felt very light. And yeah, I'm really excited to keep using that every two or three weeks, depending on how much products I use in between for styling my hair. And then obviously the towel, you guys know my love for those towels. That's just the new print that I got. I'm definitely gonna keep using them just because they're incredible and they're phenomenal, phenomenal at drying down, cutting down the drying time for your hair naturally instead of using a lot of heat on your hair. The deep conditioning mask by Brioche, the honey mask, I think is phenomenal. And I understand why so many people love that mask. The one thing is a little goes a long way. And I think I may have used a little bit too much for my hair. I use like a good, at least quarter size amount for my hair and I don't need that much just because my hair is really fine and because I lost so much hair it's a lot I have a lot less hair now than I used to so I definitely need to keep playing with the amount that I need to use for my hair but I'm definitely gonna keep using that mask maybe every once to two times every two weeks if that makes sense so because I want to shower less I'm probably gonna use every other shower so yeah I'm very excited about that the IGK good behavior prep spray I think it's actually really good I like that it's super lightweight Again, a little goes a long way with this product and I'm just really excited about a lot of these products and I encourage you to check them out as well. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. Please share your new favorite hair care products you've been testing out. Why do you like them? What kind of hair do you have? What are you looking out of your hair needs these days? But for now, you guys, thank you for watching, spending time with me and these new hair products and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.